Hey, here's the unthinkable part three. I filmed four years ago, a month shy of four years ago, the installation of our very first bidet seat. It was by Alpha Bidet. It was the uh, JX EX. Hold on. It was. Yeah, the, oh, the JXEW, <laughs> which is kind of funny if you think about it, JX, yeah. So um, we did our very first bidet seat, the J, the J, the JX, yeah. and um, the JXEW is fabulous. Four years, still like brand new. If you haven't seen that video, look on my videos. I would say I put it here or there or here or where. I don't know how to do that. I don't, quite frankly, I don't really care, but um uh, bidets are wonderful. I've used one now for um, well, just a, a month short of four years. Um, and I am in America, right? Like I, I, uh, I avoided them. I lived in Europe for almost six years and did not um, partake in the bidetness. Uh, yeah, not my thing. But four years ago, I was like, well, let's give it a shot. Um, cause I was asked to review this unit again, not paid or not again, this is not a paid sponsorship. This was a, um, they sent me a product for my honest review. Um, I'm just going to give you the installation today and then I'll give you a review of how I like it after a couple weeks or a month. Um, or whenever somebody asks me for it, because I'll probably forget to film my bidet seat. I, I don't usually think about filming in the bathroom without further ado, this <laughs> lovely unit is the Alpha Bidet UX Pearl. Who knew I could have a favorite bidet seat brand? But I do. You'll need an outlet in your bathroom. Mine was easy to put in. We don't have an outlet in the shower and toilet area. And so um, in the same stud bay on the other side of this wall, so our vanity. And so I just cut a hole and um, pulled wires down and added that outlet. I put an in-use cover on it. It seemed like the responsible thing to do in a shower room that we had waterproofed. So um, it is not a wet, it's not a wet shower, but you know, when we built the house, we, right. So anyways, I put in a thing. Most people don't have an in-use cover. I don't think you need it. This one does have a um, breaker on it for wet locations. And then the included supply line, while changeable, comes affixed already. And then I, they, they'll give you the T. I already had one installed from my last Alpha Bidet. So that's been in there for four years. Um, and the only thing I needed in here was a cone washer. If you look at my very first bidet video from July 8th of 2018, July 8th, 2018, I'll tell you what cone washer that is. So here's the new and improved, the UX Pearl. With remote, right? All right, so this is your and I's first chance to look at it together. I um, follow the instructions. So in order to um, uninstall, somewhere here, there's a little button, yeah. There's a button right, do you see it right there? So you push that and then you slide this forward. And let me show you what I did. They gave you a little template. The template was kind of a pain, uh, not a pain, I just didn't know what to do with it. You lay it over your toilet and you put this in. Here's what you need to know. This black thing springy is up. This has an arrow that's pointing that way. I wasn't sure what that meant. Uh, that just means that's where the seat fits in. These um, are black. They're about that long. Compression nuts that go in. And so you, I put a little shampoo on them to get through the holes in the toilet. I am using a Kohler toilet. This is called the Santa Rosa. Um, and so a one piece Kohler that is incidentally five years old or four, yeah, anyways, uh, not very old. Um, and then that's where that safety thing. So you put this down. This one fits better on the Santa Rosa than the other one. The other one fit, but just barely. This one clicks in very securely. So you put that on, you put your bidet seat here. Oh, I don't know if I'm on the bracket right or not. And then you just slide that in. Hear the click, and then you try to pull it out and see if that works, right? Note that um, my bolt holes aren't exactly lined up. They're a little bit off. It's not bad. And then here's my, oh, and so I slid that on, and I was like, well, that's great. Um, is that in there? Yep. And then I took my supply line that was already attached here. Incidentally, this is changeable, but it's already attached for you. And then I routed it, or I didn't route it. I just connected it. And then I tried to hide this and then it popped back out. Anyways, 
um, and then I took the electrical code from the other side and plugged it in. That was all there was to it. I plugged it in, it beeped, that little thing turned on, and I was like, wow, okay. This is the self-cleaning nozzle extender, so you turn this clockwise, and now that thing comes out and you can clean it with a soft brush, or you can grasp that and pull the nozzle tip out and clean that. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that. And then so, just push it, or push stop on the remote, or turn it clockwise, do anything, and it'll go back to where it's supposed to go. This is an antibacterial seat, which is great. Uh, what is that? There's a little tape on there. <laughs> Anyways, nice looking. These are little rubber feet. You can see this is the wash spot. This must be the dry spot. Nice clean um, interface. <laughs> All right. And then here's where your sensor is going to be. So. Let's do this a shot together. Fool the sensor with a wet washcloth. Okay, I think we're fooled. And you can see it cleaned itself a little bit, right? And then put the model booty over so we don't... This is cool, the remote. If you put the thing on the wall with a sticky tape, then the remote is magnetic. Isn't that cool? All right, now you and I are gonna learn this together here. I have the instruction manual and you can see up top, we've got rear vacillate, oh, oscillate, <laughs> front oscillate. Then you got pressure on the left, position on the right, and then dry. And then user one and user two, holy cow. You get a husband and wife or partners that are able to set their own seat settings, just like in your car. That is something nobody knew we needed, but it works. And then you got water temperature button, button, dryer temp, seat temp. That's my favorite, the seat temp. I love having a nice warm seat um, in the winter. And then easy wash, light, auto wash dry, and pure breeze. All right. Um, I would guess that one of their concerns that they received was that somebody dropped the remote in the toilet. Now, we never did because we put our remote, this is the old remote, right, with a little screen. We put it on the wall and it never came off the wall because it's not like you're playing a video game, right? So, this under this battery cover is another battery cover and that battery cover has a rubber seal. So, I'm guessing somebody um, took the remote swimming. <laughs> That's awful. Um, so... Here we are. Oh, you can drill or just stick it on or not. And then you can see the buttons. We just read them. Pure breeze, that's pretty. So rear and front cleansing. While seated, press it and give it a shot. Warm air drying. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, spray pressure adjustment. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. So the pressure does, obviously pressure, but is there a volume? I think there is. Yep, nozzle position adjustment. Pulse function, I have a blender that has a pulse function. During either a front or rear wash cycle, press and hold the current wash button three seconds to turn on or off the pulse spray function. I don't know what that is, but I promise you by the end of the day I will. Eco mode, energy saver. Oh, I use this all the time. Press and hold the stop button for three seconds to turn on or off eco mode. The indicator light around the side control knob will slowly fade in and out when eco mode is active. With it enabled, the heat seat temperature will drop to level one when idle. The seat will return to the set temperature once you use. Okay, so let's turn on eco mode now because my seat doesn't have to always be hot. I mean, there's a joke in there somewhere, right? So, um, that's the light we're gonna look for. So eco, okay, so what does it say? Press and hold the stop button for three seconds. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, I'm still sitting on it though. Let's see if we do something again. 
He still thinks I'm sitting. Let's say, okay. One, two, three. Then I think we should just give this thing a, a little whirl, don't you? I'm trying to, uh, this is very much an unboxing installation. Easy wash, let's, but let's do, okay. You can set your presets. That's awesome, okay. Auto wash dry, rear wash 20 seconds, oscillating rear wash 30 seconds, rear wash 40 seconds, dry 180 seconds. Stop. I'm gonna have to look at that. I don't wanna sit here all day. I just like it to go, the old one went one minute and it was done and I was like, okay, that's enough. Water temp, dryer temp, heated seat temp, night light, we do like that. Um, by default, the LED will either always be on or always off. If you prefer to only have it turn on when the bathroom is dark, press the light button for three seconds to activate intelligent mode. Okay, pure breeze, here we go. When nobody seated, press the pure breeze button to activate the in-bowl plasma sanitizing function. This function works best with the seat and Liz lid closed. Charged air particles are produced and blown around the toilet bowl, helping to neutralize certain microbes and odor particles. The result is a fresh toilet bowl. It takes 10 minutes. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a plasma sanitizing thing is. My guess, I'll be able to tell you if it's ozone or not. I do odors for a living and we get called to get rid of the ozone odor. And I do not like that odor. I don't use ozone at all. That's a side note, right? Oh my goodness, there's so many users. The seat will beep each time you press a button on the remote control to confirm that they are communicating properly. If you don't want to hear a boop, beep, then the remote control may not be communicating properly. If you wish to turn off the beep, you can turn on off quiet mode by pressing and holding the seat temp button on the remote control. Well, that's great. Hold on. Well, we'll do that later. I'll, I'll, let me learn how to use it first. Okay. Um, seat is a skin sensor, not wait, near the four o'clock area, right? The full seat, the seat feature, look at auto deodorization. The seat features a catalytic deodorizer that automatically turns on once a user sits down. This will sound like a low fan in the background. It's on by default. If you wish to turn the deodorization feature off, press and hold the stop button. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we go. Without further ado, ready? Let's say rear. Oh man. Here it goes. Sure enough. Now, I wonder if I push it a second time. Yep. Whoa. There you go, folks. We have oscillating. Now, here's an upgrade from the old one. The front one used to just be front. You can see, oh, what's going on? Oh, front. Sorry. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, different nozzle. And you can see it is oscillating. I wonder if I, oh yeah. It'll just stay put and we can, oh yeah, you see that? Check it out. I'm gonna go, ha. <laughs> All right, so there's that and then pressure. <laughs> 